Halo. Okay, just now we actually got our new foot bracket here and we just changed it by ourselves. Yes. So we got this pin here out. The hardest bit was to get this piece out, but I used this part of the spanner because we went and asked her at the place where we're at, the motorcycle garage, which um, got the part for us. And they told us they wouldn't lend us the tools to be able to do it. And you need like special pincers normally to open this, but I just stuck this in there like that and just opened it up and it worked. One more bolt to do. So I just need to give that a bit of a nudge. Yep, I think that's good. Okay, that's cool. Yes. Yes, that will save us 80 bucks. Yeah, they quoted us $80 for them to do it here. It's basically like $80, but you can't use our tools. So it's either that or nothing. We're just sort of working this out as we go along, trying to kind of get everything apart. And it's kind of working. Look. <laughs> It's working! It's unbelievable! <laughs> we managed to get the, the foot pedal onto the new bracket and put the spring in, which was a miracle that we managed to get that sorted. And we just picked up our wedding rings today and we are getting married tomorrow. What did you just drop? It's okay? Yes, I think so. Okay. Yeah, today's been a day of trying to sort everything out. Lavi got sort of a tiara thing from Walmart and we found some wedding rings and we managed to get them in the right sizes. We've just been riding around Las Vegas all day today trying to figure this all out. And so far we've been really successful. Oh yes, it's going in, it's going in. I'm really proud of ourselves actually at the moment that we are able to fix the foot pedal by ourselves. I know it seems silly because we are sort of riding around the world, but <laughs> I have no idea about any technical things. But you know, you're learning whilst going along, I guess. This is the third time we've had to have the foot pedal looked at. So yeah, I've seen it done. So there you go. It's on! It's on! We did it! Yay! 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 Woo! Look, mechanics hands. Yay! I cannot believe we put the foot pedal all by ourselves with like just and this. <laughs> Unbelievable. I just set everything up and I'm just here and Lavi's outside. How do I look? There he is! Yes! Hello! Hello! Hi, Hello. Hello. Hi, Hi Michelle! Hi, Hi Lavi! Is there anybody here who's got a suspicious mind that's allowed me to not proceed with this procedure? <laughs> Good. <laughs> it's time to rock and roll, folks. By the way, everybody back that's watching live from the UK, this is really happening. I got the paperwork right here. They're really getting married, so <laughs> don't try this at home. Everybody, please rise for our ride. Be faithful. To be faithful. And always. And always. 
be there for you. Be there for me. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. And my heart of love. And my heart of love. And my wallet. And my wallet. And my wallet. <laughs> As my promise. As my promise. For life. For life. Darling. Darling. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of my heart of love. Of my heart of love. I promise. I promise. To be faithful. To be faithful. faithful. And always. <laughs> and always. Be there for you. Be there for you. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. And my burning love. And my burning love. As my promise. As my promise. To you and Elvis. To you and Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You promise to always love each other tender. Don't be cruel. Never give each other suspicious mind. And always simple. So it's blue suede shoes. Do you promise? <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. Uh, all right, let, let me get up. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Bobby, a forward investor in the state of Nevada. Ronnie, give me a drum roll back. I will not pronounce the most of the life. You may now see your own. <laughs> we are married! <laughs> Woo! Right, I'll check the room. Look at the view! It's crazy! The Venetian Hotel over there, the Wynn, Treasure Island, Palazzo. Oh, it's a crazy place. Las Vegas is a crazy place. Anyway, everything looks pretty good here. Goodbye, beautiful room at the Mirage. See you next time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bumblebee, safe and sound, in the Mirage car park. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. Back on the road. My parents bought us a new chain guard! Yes! yes. <laughs> That's absolutely amazing. I'm so happy about that. Let's get it on, eh? Yeah. Last one. Yeah. Oh, you have a chain guard! <laughs> yes! Woo. Okay, we're nearly ready, but we have one last thing to do, a really important thing to add to Bumblebee before we can hit the road, and that is our Married in Vegas sticker. <laughs> They gave it at the wedding registration office at the Marriage License Bureau. I don't think it fits perfectly in here. So cool, look at that, that's so amazing. Oh yes. Yes! Amazing! <laughs> How <could> that? <laughs> like it. Our 
windshield gets together quite nicely, I think. It does, it looks amazing. Are you ready to leave the Mirage and make our way onto the streets of Vegas? <laughs> kind of. All right, kind of is good enough for me. <laughs> Let's do it. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 400 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. And we're here in the beautiful city of Las Vegas in Nevada in the United States of America. It is absolutely crazy here. This, this whole place is just is just mad, isn't it? It's just yeah. mad. Yes, we had a really great time. And the craziest thing is that we got married. I think I will include a little bit of that just the now of this episode <laughs> so you probably just saw it a second ago but yes the whole point of coming to vegas and the whole point that my family came out here to meet us is that we just did a marriage by elvis at the las vegas <laughs> wedding chapel yes how cool is that six years ago when we met we said okay if we ever get married then we have to get married in las vegas exactly <laughs> this was the perfect opportunity yeah mostly because i didn't think we'd make it this far <laughs> but we did and now it's happened yes and it was absolutely amazing little ceremony elvis sang two songs wise man say only fools rush in i can help falling in love with you and then we had a beautiful ceremony and elvis was absolutely amazing it was just an incredible incredible day i think it was the most intense and nicest 30 minutes of my life that was really really cool and we got this sticker and that makes it worthwhile exactly so we spent the last four nights here in vegas we all lost money at the casino of course <laughs> well i just lost 20 20 bucks yeah because so, I'm clever. You know, I really tried. I was quite careful, but you just cannot win. It's very hard. Although my surname is Gambling, I'm not much of a gambler. <laughs> but anyway, I totally forgot as well to say that Doug and Michelle, they uh, came to our wedding and they got us a little wedding present here, my new hair. I have nice yellow hair now for our nice yellow bike, so I'm kind of a bumblebee now as well. Exactly, and Doug and Michelle, they came all the way down, they drove all the way down from San Diego, all the way to Vegas and back in one day, just to be there for the wedding day, and we went for lunch together after. So thanks so much guys for coming down, it really means a lot, and that's just, that's just awesome that you guys could be there. Yeah, we love you. My mum and dad flew out from England with my sister, and my brother flew out from Australia and those guys are still here in Vegas so we are on our way uh, to meet them because they've gone off to get a camper van or like an RV or something because we're all heading on a family road trip with the newest gambling <laughs> so we're going to be doing a bit of a loop over the next few days not too crazy mileage but absolutely crazy landscapes today we are going to be picking up the van heading to the hoover dam and on our way to the grand canyon oh yeah let me show you guys the route on the map so we are here and today we're going to be heading across to the hoover dam before taking this road and this road towards the grand canyon national park so for today, we'll just be getting to the Hoover Dam and hopefully getting close to the Grand Canyon. Tomorrow, we'll have a day off just to see the Grand Canyon and then heading further into some more awesome national parks that I'll tell you more about over the next few days. So we will meet the guys back at the Indy campus where they got a nice little van for the time here. And then we have to do a little bit of shopping, a little bit of organizing. But yeah, I'm super excited. I can't wait. So better hit the road. Let's go. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Mum and dad, brother and sister. There you are. Is that your camper? Nice. Oh, he's getting a picture of us. Let's give a shaka. My brother just bought this Las Vegas, Nevada t-shirt today. Yeah. Look at this. Est 1905. Very nice. So maybe we should just hide in the cave somewhere? Yeah, let's do that. So what do you got going on in here? Whoa, look at this. Hi. Hey. Pretty cool. And that's just your latch so it doesn't bang around when you're driving. Yeah. Ram. Look at that. Oh, it's got a Montana number plate. That's funny that they've got rentals with Montana. They've all got Montana. Oh, and California number plates as well. Must be cheaper. And you're in the tent. 
Yeah, unless... you got a little pop tent. It's a queen bed at the top, so I could stay at the top if I wanted to. All right. Or I think they're one of those tents, you literally throw them, and they just... Boom! I think so. Eventually. All right. We've got the camper. We've been to Walmart and got ourselves a whole load of shopping for the next few days on the road. Bread and cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but more than just bread and cheese, because these guys, they've got a fridge, they've got loads yes. of space in the camper. Yes. So, you know, we've got a few luxury items now. We've got some veggie bacon, veggie sausage, veggie burgers. I love it. Oh my God, we're going to be eating like kings. We've even bought a little barbecue, like a portable one. Uh, it's like 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. So pretty much we're going to have barbecue for the next few nights definitely amazing oh and then bacon sausage eggs for breakfast is this an on the road diet or what <laughs> that's really luxury for us i'm gonna i'm really looking forward to those those meals so now we've just rooted ourselves over to the hoover dam or at least a bridge apparently there's quite a good lookout over the hoover dam from this bridge so we'll go to the bridge and check it out it's only like 30 minutes away 26 miles out of las vegas but it is a really really hot day our bike is recording 37 degrees at the moment yeah that's a couple couple degrees too much for me i tell you <laughs> So we're just coming over the hill to Lake Mead, the Lake Mead National Recreation Area. And this is the lake that is created by the Hoover Dam. So the Colorado River is running into Lake Mead, which is an artificial lake. Yeah, and have a look at the surrounding here. This is really, really spectacular. Yeah, huge red rock cliffs on both sides of us. It's absolutely spectacular. Grand. Yeah. Grand, definitely. Wow. No, no, no. Grand is going to be tomorrow at the <laughs> canyon. Now that's a Grand Canyon. All right can see there's a lot of electricity pylons around here. That's all the electricity coming from the hydroelectric at the Hoover Dam. Well, look at the size of these RVs. Wow. I mean, okay, that one's a coach. That's a bus. <laughs> that's actually a bus. It's very, very hot today. It's like 37 degrees right now. We're heading up to the dam. Dam! You get my job. I like to joke. But I like it because they have a massive switchback system here. Look at that. Mm -hmm. USA, they're the kings of switchbacks. So I'd love to fly our drone here, but we came in, there's a big security checkpoint and they ask you there if you've got any guns or drones. And I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to fly a drone here, so. It's gonna be gone. We're already starting to get a view. Wow, that's super high up here. Yeah, there's a big drop. Wow. Wow. And you can see over there in the reservoir, there's like a boat party going on or something. <laughs> like you have jet skis and boats. Wow, the bike is registering 39 degrees at the moment. It's madness. It is madness. I really hope where we're heading later into the National Park is going to be a little bit cooler than this, because this is insane. But we're not finished with the Hoover Dam just yet because when we were on the bridge, we saw this little road that went over the dam, like literally on top of the dam. And we were like, wait, can we ride that road? 
and it's this road right in front. All we have to do is carry on straight and we are going to ride over the Hoover Dam. How cool is that? Oh my that God. It's pretty cool. That's amazing. But to be honest, we're all a little bit feeling it with the heat. Mm -hmm. Being up there on the bridge, everybody's like, oh, okay, it's nice, but get me in the shade. <laughs> yeah. So wow. anyway, look at that. Wow. Wow, that's the bridge that we were just on. That's a massive bridge. It's a huge bridge. Very impressive. Anyway, this is what I want to do. I want to ride over the dam. <laughs> I want to bring Bumblebee along. Bumblebee didn't even get to see the dam. Yeah. Uh, here you go, Bumblebee. There's the dam. There, there. <laughs> Bumblebee, look. Whoa, don't look that close. Ah. <laughs> and look at the electricity um electricity pylons yes yeah they're because all they're, like leaning to the side it looked like they've all kind of fallen over yeah oh here we go this is why we went over to the bridge to check it out first because when you're on top of it look can't really see very much can't really see that we're like right on top of it now on this side is a lake just there and on this side is a huge drop yeah, and to be fair, the water level looks very low, actually. Uh, if you see the line there, you yeah, know, yeah. wow. Yeah, it's much, much, much lower at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. It's way down. Way down. Not much rain going on here. No. So there we go. We just rode over the Hoover Dam. Ride over the Hoover Dam. Check. <laughs> awesome. Very cool. And I think we are just coming into Arizona. Right here. Ah. There it is. The Grand Canyon State welcomes you. Thank you, Arizona. Thank you. <laughs> nice. So yeah, this is the border between Nevada and Arizona. Wow. Cool. Goodbye, Nevada. Hello, Arizona. State number three in the USA. So it looks like the road to continue is like closed or something. So apparently we have to go back over the Hoover Dam. Back into Nevada. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, looks close here. We get an even better view from this side. Nice! The family van just pulled off on the side of the road. It's like 10 past six, and we've probably got about an hour and a half until sunset. And we got a barbecue to do, so <laughs> I can understand. I think they want to call it a day. Yeah, we said we just follow them and see what they're going to do and want to do. So we had yeah. no idea like when to <laughs> stop yep. or what yep. to do. <laughs> yeah, just makes it easier for me. I'm just literally just looking at the van in front and just got the cruise control on and that's it. Easy going. I reckon that'll about do. Awesome. Oh, and uh, I almost forgot to tell you guys, we just hit 29,000 miles on the road. Woo! Okay, no, apparently this was just a rest stop. So uh, now we're gonna continue on uh, because they say they wanna get a little bit closer to the Grand Canyon before today because otherwise we got like two and a half hours to ride tomorrow. So we're gonna ride one hour more. We found a campsite which is literally, I think it's on Route 66. It's called the Route 66 campground. But apparently that means that we have to cancel the barbecue today. So we'll have to have a barbecue tomorrow then. has just been really spectacular. We started off 
in like the desert canyons and now it's become quite green we've got a lot of trees around but it's just an absolutely beautiful area yeah america is a very 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 big country oh for yeah sure. so much landscape it's just it's crazy here yeah We are turning off of the Route 40 to a town called Seligman and I believe this is the Route 66 that we're turning off onto. Let me see, let me see. Look, look, look. What, what, what? The Route 66. Route 66. <laughs> I thought you saw some like animals or something. No, it's the historic Route 66. Route 66, Route 66. There you go. That's another bucket list thing ticked off, hey, riding the Route 66. Cool. This is it, look. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. That is cool. Now it's getting really, really close to, to being really dark. I think sunset must be now. So we're going to have to get our camp set up pretty fast. No way. On this sign, it <laughs> says, Welcome to Seligman, birthplace of the historic Route 66. Oh. No way. Oh, that's cool. Wow. So not only are we on the Route 66, but this is the birthplace of the Route 66. Very cool. Oh, look at this. Yes. <laughs> oh, everything looks really like old school, traditional, historic US style. Oh, nice. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, we have to get some pictures here tomorrow. That's awesome. So where is this campground? That's the question. Yeah, I think we need to oil the chain. Yeah, no? Yeah, it's a little bit loud. I can hear it. Yeah, wow, the chain definitely dried off. I can hear it a lot, hey? Yeah, a little bit scary. Yeah, I don't really like hearing noise. Let's give it a chain spray tonight and I think it'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, this might be it. Okay. This looks like a campground. Awesome, so we registered ourselves at the historic Route 66 general store in front. The camping is actually just behind. Look at this place though, it's so cool and vintage. Look at it. And inside is crazy. I'll have to show you guys tomorrow what it looks like inside, but there's loads of memorabilia everywhere. Loads of stuff. This is a really cool place actually. I like this place. Oh, it's just there. It's right here. Oh, right here. Oh my god. Oh god, Oli. Alrighty. Do they charge us for three spots? No, two in the end. Are they only charge us for two in the end? Because I was, I was just saying to Lovey that these are like really big. Like we could easily fit a motorbike yeah, and two so tents in here. So, so he just charged us 40 bucks. Yeah, 40. That's amazing. Nice. Perfect. And then we've got a little picnic bench in between. Yeah, so have our dinner there and we've got lights here. So. That's good. There you go, perfect. All done for our first night on the road. It's getting cold, it's starting to get cold. Yeah, it yeah. got to about 20, 21 degrees. About yeah, yeah, by the end of it. Grandpa, my please, my jacket, I have to put everything on now. Yeah. You went to see whether you text to say stop, we need to put clothes on. No, no, I said to Lavi, let's just get to there. I mean, it went from 37 to 21. I know. 16 degrees drop. Yeah, yeah, right now we're 5,255 feet, yeah. so we went up really high. Whoa! Wow, that's so good. It's got its own ground sheet as well, already attached. All right, we've got to pitch our tent. What are you cooking for us tonight? Spaghetti. Spaghetti! 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 Woo! That's good. We've got our own chefs. Our own chefs, our own tour guides. Yeah, we're just following along and eating all the food. Yeah, it's sorted. Sorted. <laughs> And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.